Welcome to my channel, Sage of Aqua, and if you're a returning su subscriber, welcome back. Your love frequency is welcome here. So here we look at electromagnetic energy that is carrying a vibration. Everything is in resonance in this universe. Within our own bodies, we have a masculine and feminine force within the whole solar system, universe, galaxy. We are have sea opposing forces working against each other. And that is the way of creation and destruction. So we look at that energy here and I sort of shuffle the cards and just on the gravity door of deception I've got the three of pentacles. So I had the three coming up in the general reading. And I've also got at the bottom of the deck I've just used, if you did catch my general reading, I've also got a number 21 which is also a number three. So I'm getting the energy of three coming through here. And the three is obviously stabilization, uh, a tripod in sacred geometry. The triangle is the beginning of stability after the zero, one, two. So something's taking hold here. There's a confidence in the air. And I just wanna see, I've given these a bit of a shuffle and I just wanna see what's gonna come on off the top. So I've got four, that's stable. Eight of cups, yeah, going towards what you want, but there is a cup missing there. There is a cup missing there. There is definitely more work to be done with respect to following your desires. And I've got the eight of wands. By, see how there's a wand that's short? So there's more work that can be done towards this there is some level of celebration here so something's been successful but there's definitely more passion that can go in and more work into this connection more oh, is to see if I can identify any masculine or feminine energy I'm not really sure which way it's going to go just at the moment okay all right so I've got masculine energy on the table right now so the this is the number four. I'm getting that there is definitely some stabilization with the four of wands and the emperor. That is celebrating a positive new step forward. This is encouraging. And this is masculine energy, although this is traditionally in astrology, which I don't really cover here. This is the card for Arius, which is a um, Mars, which is the. Just gonna turn up my. Um, just need some more light here. There we are. Oh, that's too much. There we go. So this is a. I'm just trying to adjust my camera here, so it's not too light and not too dark. Okay, so I'm feeling like there's some difficulty balancing something out here. So I'm actually having trouble. <laughs> balancing the light so this is a divine masculine reading all right so that's a card for all as well this is a, this is not being ambitious enough this there's, there's a this a cup missing in the eight of cups and there's a short wand in the eight of wands so either something's missing or you're just not get putting enough energy into it although that's a very positive that you're actually really enjoying this so yeah so the nine of wands is upside down so you're letting go of connections that are wearing you down you're letting go of connections that are wearing you down and confrontational so this can also apply to the energy within your own heart and soul in the masculine feminine you might not be giving yourself a hard time that's two of pentacles on the bottom is is balancing out your energy so i like to see that here so i've got a mystery card knight of cups okay so it's upside down there could have been an opportunity that you just didn't go for here that's what i'm feeling like you know knight of cups is a fast moving energy and with love and it's upside down so yeah, let's just take another one to see what's Got a magician on the bottom which is upside down, so hmm, I'm not really sure why that's upside down. 
So this is the card for spiritual advisor. So you may have met someone, and that's the number five, you may have met someone that is more spiritually advanced than you, or you think they are. You have felt that you were really into it, but that you weren't enough for this person. With these eights here, even though subconsciously the universe is celebrating this connection in the collective subconscious, with the eights, it's it can be success after difficulty, but I feel like there's still work to be done. You see how she's still walking up a hill? She's still got a way to go with this. Yeah. Okay, so something about an offer is not really going ahead. I might just look that one up. Something about an offer not really taking hold. Nine of Cups. Jealousy and emotional manipulation. So this could be someone older. And they're very confident. A very confident older person. It could be jealous. That's what I'm getting. You could be celebrating a new success after difficulty and this person is jealous of you. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, because you've really stepped in your power. So this is a position four. This is something that you really desire. I'm not sure why the stars are reverse, but I'm getting a really confrontation energy along here. Yeah, but you're looking fine. So if I take these out, put them there. That's a real com that's a real confrontational jealous energy there. But you're looking fine. Yeah, standing in your power, moving towards something that has a emotional resident resonance here. And really do put in the work in, but just sort of know you've got a ways to go, yeah? So she's sort of still moving uphill. But this is success after difficulty, so you're getting on with that, whatever it is that you're doing. I'm just going to have a look at the star inverse. I'm not really sure. That's position five, so that's actually quite stable energy along with the four. That's even more stable. That's even more entrenched. I like to see the nine of cups at the position six, so this is really whatever it is. This connection is really resonating with your heart and soul. So I'm loving to see that. So star is number eight. So we've got three eights here. Six after difficulty. That's quite a high vibration. So you may have been through the shit. But I've got self-sabotage on the bottom. Lack of motivation, self-sabotage, spreading yourself too thin could be trying to do too many things or the person that you're connected to is spreading themselves too thinly but I feel like you're setting your goals high all right so I've got it in reverse despair and loneliness refusing help so that came up in my general reading refusing help giving up too easily okay so someone may have come along that was trying to advise you or being quite kind to you and I'm feeling like there was a pretty good connection here but you've given up because of this Nine of Cups in reverse so this jealous energy so I'm not sure where this is coming from right we'll just choose one more card Somebody could be jealous of you for finding the Nine of Cups, for finding total fulfillment here. And you've given up on attaining this because of this jealous energy here. Yeah, I think you felt like you didn't have any choice and you finished it. Yeah, something didn't harmonise with you. 
Something from Harmonize. They could have been immature and they weren't. So this person that's jealous gave you no choice to end it. There's another three, there's another, yeah, I've got the, I've got the completion card has come up in this energy. This is, a, this is from my general energy that I've just done. And I've got, I've got the hermit upside down twice as well. There. All right, so the hermit is uh, number nine. Let's get these on the table. So yeah, the lovers can be have no choice, having no choice in the matter. That's what I'm feeling like. So I'm just going to hone in on these, the masculine energy here. So I've got a number three. So something was definitely solid and I've got the Emperor in position 4. This something was definitely solidifying but someone's lost heart here. Not from any lack of love or effort. Eight of Cups, Eight of Nine of Cups. This is no... and the reason I'm the amount of happiness and success here. Celebrating. Um, but I've got someone that's relentlessly jealous but I've got a pyrophant in somebody could have advised you or you could be advising someone else I've got lack of strength here on the bottom as well lack of strength something's fallen through so I've got the completion card in the upright Fulfillment and achievement, positive mindset, and then I've got the hermit in reverse. Everything is falling into place here with the number three, but I've got a sort of lack of like the heart's not in it, and it could be because somebody's jealous, could be someone from the past. So I'm just going to look at the hermit. Feelings of loneliness, isolation, self-projection. Okay, so I've got a self-sabotaging energy here. So you may have had some success with a connection that was going really well. Or that you were really balancing out your own energy. And you've self-sabotaged or you have been associated with somebody or met somebody who star in reverse that's the first time i've ever seen the star in reverse in a year of doing energy readings that's the first time i've ever seen that sort of giving up all right so you may not believe in yourself which is a shame and so yeah i've got the completion what's going well and the hermit feeling lonely self-rejection so overly defensive or paranoid low morale and little enjoyment unenforced boundaries okay so there could be someone here that just doesn't know where the boundary okay to finish off the masculine energy i've had a look at the chart and completion means there's a need to move forward again so in the middle I have the world the completion card and it's crossing the wheel of fortune so it's the need to move on so the masculine energy needs to stay flowing and move on if some one door is closed another door will open and also with the hermit the balancing energy is the strength so there's a need to be strong in moving on from the energy that was holding back from this flourishing opportunity. So you may be standing in your power with the Emperor, but there's a reluctance to move on from this jealousy. Someone could be quite jealous that you may be wanting to move on and it could be holding you back. That's what I'm feeling like. All right, so um, just wanted to clarify that. So everything in the universe 
can be measured in sound hertz frequency, in geometry, sacred patterns, shape and form and everything is vibrating. Morphic resonance. So if this resonated with you, it means that it's connecting with your vibration. So, uh, we'll be moving on with the Divine Feminine and if the Divine Masculine did not have a morphic resonance with you then um, have a look at this one. <laughs> 